zweiten Tag der Vienna Comic Con und heute haben wir zu Gast ähm, Neve McIntosh, ihr kennt sie bestimmt von äh, Doctor Who als Madame Vastra und ja, ich würde sagen, wir starten gleich mit dem nächsten Interview und stellen der lieben Neve ein paar Fragen. So, hello Neve, nice to meet you. Um, we have a few questions for you. Um, uh, the first thing is about your character you've played in Doctor Who. It's uh, Madame Vastra. And um, how hard was it to get this mask on and wear it the whole day on the set? Um, yeah, at first, a little bit tough. I mean, it's uh, four hours average to get into everything. And because, uh, of course, they've got to, once you get the pieces stuck on, it's about three pieces, um, then that's not, it's not finished. Then you've got to get your eyes tarted up a bit and they have to take the spray gun and even out all the all your scales and everything and add browns and yellows in and make you look all glistening and shiny spray as well so that I look more reptilian. So yeah, it's about four hours. Um, once it's on though, that's great. And I'm in it all day. Normally I'm in it about eight hours of the day, which I've only, only once has it ever got to a point where I've been a bit fed up and I just take it off, get it off me. But um, that's only happened once in about five years, so we're okay. <laughs> it sounds really hard. Um. It, uh, no, it has, its, it has its moments. Getting up at four in the morning is never fun. In the winter, never. A very strong female character, um, a detective, uh, the Doctor Who version of uh, Sherlock Holmes you've played. Um, what do you think of the meaning of the importance of uh, Madame Vastra for the, for the female uh, fans of Doctor Who? It, she's, she's gone down a storm with a lot of, a lot of women and girls, um, more than I ever expected. I mean, I just, I just was given this fantastic character to, to sort of bring to life um, and sort of filled her up with just, yeah, if, if she's someone who's that clever, she can work everything out. She's also skilled, she can look after herself, but she's not aggressive. Just, yeah, sort of full rounded woman. And I, I, it's been incredible the way that women have picked up on that and gone, yeah, yeah, quite right, that's who we are. <laughs> That's cool. We've, we've heard that you're uh, a little geek, and um, what, what do you think about, uh, or are you excited about the new Star Wars movie? I'm really excited. I'm so excited about the new Star Wars movie. I've been watching trailers all the way through, but try, and try not to get too overexcited and stuff, because I don't want to be, you know when you big something up in your imagination? Because I was like that with Prometheus, and I wasn't a very good film. But I doubt that's going to happen with Star Wars and J.J. Abrams. So um, I'm just, yeah, I'm just sort of keeping quietly. Okay. Me and my brother keep, um, keep in touch because he's crazy daft um, Star Wars fan as well. Have you, have you also heard about the new Star Trek series starting 2007? Yeah, I just heard about a new TV series. <clears throat> Piece of job. I can do that. I'm very good in prosthetics. No, um, who knows? Well, I don't even know much about it. Is it, is it more future? It's not going back again because we've done that, haven't we, right to the start. So, yeah. Do you know anything about it? No. no. We, also, we also have no idea about that. Yeah, all, all, that's all I've heard is there's a new, a new Star Trek TV series, so we'll see. We can see what that is. Have you a, a, any uh, actual um, projects you're still running? Uh, uh, anything you want to tell about... Uh not at the moment. I'm, um, I've just finished some theatre, so I've kind of been a bit out of the loop. It sort of takes over my life quite a lot when I'm doing that. Um, I'm hoping to see a film that I made uh, roughly this time last year called Social Suicide, and it's just starting to come out and do a lot of European film festivals. Um, it's about sort of kids on um, social media, but, you know, the lengths that you will go to to get, you know, your, view, your viewing figures up. You know, to hit that one million mark or something, yeah. So, yeah. Have you heard about the series um, Black Mirror? Do you like that? Black Mirror? Oh, yeah, I've heard of it, but I've not watched it yet. I'm, I'm so far behind in a lot of my stuff. I think you should watch it. But maybe we'll, we'll see you in the next Star Trek series. It <laughs> would be great <laughs> as Madame Vastra in kind of Star, Star, -like, uh, Star Trek thing. Yeah. <laughs> Who knows? <laughs> really nice to meet you. Thank you for the nice interview. Thank, Thank you. you. <laughs>